For many years, we've been uh, working in order to find peaceful solution to the conflict. For many years, including our annual meetings here prior to the Second Karabakh War, we were always talking about injustice, occupation, violation of international law, um, non-implementation of uh, UN Security Council resolutions. And we continued to talk about that because we wanted this issue to be in the center of attention of international community. We wanted justice to prevail, but unfortunately, it didn't happen by peaceful means. For 28 years of the activity of the former Minsk group, the uh, result was zero. And uh, 28 years now, when we analyze and look back how it continued, we are absolutely sure that the main objective of the Minsk group was not to resolve the conflict, but to freeze it, to make uh, Armenian occupation eternal, and to try to communicate with us inevitability of uh, our agreement with occupation. This is the main reason why the conflict was not resolved by peaceful means, along with, of course, uh, unconstructive position of Armenian governments, different governments starting from the beginning of 90s until today. There was another message which uh, regularly was channeled to us from the world's leading capitals that there is no military solution to the conflict. Uh, we said, yes, okay, we may agree with that, but what is alternative? If alternative is to agree with occupation and um, agree with uh, existence of a separatist regime on uh, almost 20% of our international recognized territory, that's not something we can agree with. We can agree that there can be no military solution in one case. If you, the Minsk Group co-chairs, the leading countries of the world, the permanent members of the United Nations Security Council, will force occupational forces of Armenia to withdraw from our lands. You, who yourself adopted four United Nations Security Council resolutions which demanded immediate and unconditional withdrawal of Armenian troops from Azerbaijani territories, you should provide implementation of these resolutions, otherwise the conflict will never be resolved. Unfortunately, all our attempts to find a peaceful solution to the conflict failed, and the reason I already explained. Uh, so the resolution of the conflict by military political means actually demonstrates that in order to achieve peace, sometimes you have to use military option. And that's what is happening now. Now we are closer to peace with Armenia than ever before. Never in the history of uh, independence of the Southern Caucasus, the peace was not as close as today. And this is a result of Second Karabakh War. This is a result of uh, anti-terror operation which we held last September for less than 24 hours and uh, put an end to separatism forever in Azerbaijan and restored our sovereignty and territorial integrity.